What's up, DTMB Squid? Again, like usual. Uh, uploading. The reason why I'm uploading so many videos is I got to dump all the stuff I had saved on my cinemas because I don't feel like uploading them and then doing them later because it kind of ruins the fun of recording at the time. Anyways, uh, gonna be doing a Team OBJ. Just kind of throw around, not a shoutcast. Maybe just break down my gameplay, why I'm doing it, keeping it real simple and calm and collected this time. Anyways, uh, we'll, we'll jump in here to uh, follow myself, or actually, yeah, that is myself. Is that me? Yes, it is me. I, I couldn't remember for a second. I switched characters so often. Anyways, we're in here, as you can see, with Mudbutt, my buddy, my man, Clockwork George, Mudbutt's friend Luis, and Hao Chi. I'm probably saying that wrong, too. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Picking up my favorite weapon, running around here, <laughs> gotta wreck some havoc. I love the shotgun, I really do. It's all those years of playing you know, playing a game where the shotgun's involved, whether it's Gears or, or Quake or, you know, even if it's a flak weapon, it's just got flak. <laughs> That's exactly what I like using, and unfortunately I get the bad end of that guy's AK. And I go down, but uh, we're going to jump across here. You know, for the most part, the way we... I love Trainwreck as an OBJ map, because, I don't know, maybe it's just because we play it so well. We, we know the routes, we know the angles that people are going to be trying to take on us, and it gives the, usually people I play with, usually George and whomever else in DTMB or Lowest, and uh, just a bunch of random people I have on my friends list. So that's kind of what it breaks down to, but I, I'm going to be honest, I don't remember the last time we've lost on train wreck. And even, I'll put up a video here soon, even if a time, like a almost 20 minute game against a bunch of forum guys. Like Scott 7000, people like that. Right there, I wanted to blow that stupid container up, but I got a little cocky about it and and, and tried a little too hard to get that done. And then, unfortunately, somebody actually blows it up and kills me, which is an unfortunate thing. I actually think one of my teammates blew it up, and somehow I died from it. I'm not entirely sure, but... Anyways, as you can see, we're winning this King of the Hill. I can't remember if we just truck these guys or if it's a closed game. I don't, I don't think it's a very close game. I know that Luis Sanchez, you'll see at the end of the game, this guy, he goes big. Puts up a big score, does a really good job. He's like, I think he's like the lead for OBJ points also. But uh, OB, I love OBJ. I really do. I used to like Plunder a lot, but the more, this is more my game type. Because it's very old-fashioned in the way that it plays. It has, it's very reminiscent of, of old-school franchises in the way you play this. And uh, I've always liked the kill zone. you know, I guess... What, what was it? Warzone idea and uh, the mixed gameplay from Gears. So I love King of the Hill. It's always been one of my favorite game modes. And plus, I'm way too aggressive for TDM. I, I'm like balls to the wall 24-7. And I throw myself in pretty much every situation unless, you know, sometimes let's say if it's like Treasure Hunter, I stay back and I just pick people off to keep them away from them. Or I pick up the treasure because I, I love beating people down with the treasure too. So here I am, going back to my favorite spot. Oop, shotgun, picking it up. Thank you very much. I don't remember if I really do much with this one. I think I just kind of troll and run around and wait for people to set themselves up in bad situations. That's the whole point of this gun, is you, you get people in situations that they don't need to be in. Like right here, like this guy right here. He knows I'm around that box, but I'm going to coax him in anyways. And this guy up here on top, he's going to chill. I'm not stupid. I'm not going to run around and come over there and be cocky. I'm going to bring you to my... I know the angles. I know what I'm doing. So why not bring you to our... I'm going to hide behind this box. Make you... And he keeps running. He knows what I have in my hand. I'm just going to chill here and wait. I'm going to let him make the mistake, not myself. Sure, it's a cheap it's a cheap tactic. And there's such a thing as OP or cheap tactics. I want to tell you guys right, right now. The reason you have a tactic is because it's supposed to gain an upper hand against your opponent. Whether it's in real life or it's in a video game like this, it does not matter. So anybody that tells you that tactics, there's such thing as an OP tactic, needs to get their head checked. Or screwed on straight. Because that's not how it works. There's no such thing as that. I mean, look. You know, I don't want to bring this up, but military training, that's one of the things you learn right away, is how to be a smart soldier, or smart whatever you are. You know, it, that's the big thing. So just if you just play smart and use that to your advantage, that's a tactic. And you're trying to outgun, outsmart the, the opponent, and that's what you're trying to do, and that's the purpose. So just stick with that. Don't ever let somebody tell you that that's how you're doing it, saying, oh, you, you're cheap. No, I just know how to outsmart you. 
I just know that if you do this because you're cocky or arrogant or you think too highly of yourself, that's how, what you're going to do. Like this guy right here. I'm just going to wait. I, I'm going to wait. You know, my team, my teammates are fine. I'm going to cover this side. Let them make a stupid decision and come down. And my team, you know, I get back over here, pop this guy. I don't know how I didn't kill him. Oh, I well, I eventually killed him, but it didn't happen right away. Picking up the mag, running around. I'm just trying to keep people distracted with me. See, they're all distracted. Two guys shooting at me. Neither one of them picking up the treasure, trying to score points. But I did my job. You know, I was a decoy for that moment, waiting for George and them to get back over there. And look, here they're back again, making sure they're going to get that idol here in a second. And uh, rack up some more points. One point, And they had four guys over there at one time. That's not going to cut it. You know, that's how you play OBJ. Like, I might be giving away our secrets, but look, at the end of the day, you got to make it happen. You know, good teamwork and understanding of this. And that's why George and I work so well together. We've played Halo, COD, Battlefield. I mean, I'm trying to think of other games. Obviously, Uncharted 2. Uh, just a bunch of stuff. So I know exactly all of his tendencies. I know exactly what he's going to do. I never have to ask, George, what are you doing? George, where are you? Because I know where he is. I know how he plays. I know his vicinity. I can turn and look in the area and be like, okay, there's, where, there's, that's where George is. But I don't need to do that because I don't know how I miss that RPG. I really don't. I tried to delete it and everything. Man, I really, I'm really slacking on those rocket skills from Unreal Tournament and Quake. Good, the good old days. But anyways, um, it's the big thing here. I just got really angry. <laughs> I just shot that guy right in the butt. Uh, I, I was frustrated after missing that last RPG shot. So I was going to take it out on this dude and do what I had to do. But uh, uh, I don't remember what exactly. Oh, George, anyways. Uh, it's just one of those things. Like, I'm sure you guys have a buddy that you've played a game with forever. And you know them so well. And you understand their style so well that it's really easy and straightforward to you to accomplish this. Uh -huh. Shotgun, we meet again. Anyways, uh, so that's, that's what George and I have. Um, camaraderie, you know, teamwork, the understanding. I mean, that's... That's part of one of the reasons why Get Positive is so dominant. It's because they have camaraderie and they have that teamwork, that intangible that other teams don't have. Because I've noticed this with other teams. There's only really two teams out there that I think have immaculate, amazing teamwork skills. And that's OMG and Get Positive. Like other teams just have really good, you know, really good skill players. People, I totally, I don't know what I did there. That was really stupid. I like raged for a second when that happened. Because I had a shotgun in my hand. And anyways, back to the original point. Um, it's one of those things where, you know, there's just other teams out there that have a lot of good skilled players. They know the game really well. But I just don't, you know, maybe it's because I know these two teams more than the other teams. And that's fine. I mean, that's what you, you go with what you know. But uh, at the time, I just, you know, camaraderie is so important in a team. Understanding exactly how your teammates work and how they function and how they play. Yes, I threw it off the map. I was just trolling because I thought there was no point of carrying it anymore. So I just wanted to throw it off. Anyways, picking up the Pidge, the RPG, RPGO. I never call it the RPG. I always call I always call it the Pidge. I guess just for short. I don't know. It's that I love you, man. Movie quote syndrome. We have to shorten every word. But uh, anyways, camaraderie. <laughs> Camar camaraderie anyways camaraderie uh, it's just one of those things like it's either got, either you got it or you don't and you know teams are friends but I think sometimes a lot of teams are built by convenience built by convenience on the basis that look you're a good player I'm a good player let's play together but it doesn't really have any other there's no other real basis behind that and that, that's true for a lot of games nowadays, you know, just good teams, good players get together and play well. I mean, that could have been the same way you know, that OMG or Get Positive started, but for the most part, I think those teams already had a well-balanced brotherhood, in a sense. They had a, I mean, even if they have a female player, like Get Positive technically does with the Eugenides, but it's one of those things where, you know, it's, it's just... <sighs> like, you just gain it over time, to be honest. You just gain these these opportunities, and that's what changes you as a team. So a lot of these other teams are up and coming, and they'll change that. And I'm excited to see the you know that happen. I don't always want to see the same dominating performances. Look at this guy, 27 and 10. What a beast! I thought he was higher than that, but of course George stealing all the points because that's what he does. But uh, anyways, this has been another Squid rant. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Probably not. You probably are tired of me and just be like more Indian guy, more K Monster, more more Onan. 
or everybody else. Squid top, stop talking. Just go back to working on whatever you're working on. But uh, anyways, like I said, I appreciate you guys stopping by. And uh, until next time, you guys know what I say. Peace.